Hey guys, here's another part of my walkthrough. Okay, I just got the telescope in the first part. That ending part going to the grandmas and stuff was kind of unnecessary. Sorry, everyone. But you can go ahead and walk up here. I just beat this game a little bit ago. I don't have this beginning part too down, but I know. Alright, once you're from at the top of here and you have the telescope talked. Talk to your sister. She wants you to use the example of the telescope. Okay. So just like see what's up. As you can see, there's something. She's saying, hey, what's at that post box? And you want to zoom in on that. Big brother, are you using? Yeah. Now, once you're fully zoomed in at times nine, he's gonna fly up. The postman kind of. Your little sister's kind of scared now. Looks up in the sky. Might as well just look up, and then you see this enemy up here, pulling Petra. This is the fourth boss in this game, the Hemlock King. It's in the Forsaken Fortress, which is the mini dungeon we'll be going to somewhat soon. And then fourth dungeon. As you can see, Taucho is crawling into the forest. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now you're. To get up to the forest, you need the sword. So. I'd recommend, as you can see up in those trees up there, right there, oh, you need the sword to break them down, so I'm going to go grab a sword, you should probably know what we're going if you saw our first part, even if you didn't, you should still be able to do it, I don't know. Simply walk in this building, you'll be seeing an old guy with a abnormally large head waving his cane around. You can ignore him right now and continue into the building. He will think something urgent happened. Yes, sir. You're going to need a sword. So after this training session, you will gain the sword. And you want to only press B here. Do nothing else. Do not target or anything. Now target and press B. Alright, uh, so we're forward to. Do not do anything with the analog stick yet. Okay, now you're going to target him, press forward on the analog stick, and turn the Like that. As you can tell, he gets mad at you. It's very annoying, sort of way. Okay, spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength and release it. Okay, this is similar to Ocarina of Time. 
just do that. Okay, next, this is a big attack. I'd keep this in mind for later games. This is a really good attack. When they're about to attack, as you can see, your A's gonna light up, and then you can do a really cool attack. Press A when it lights up. Right before they attack. Now they're gonna do jump attack, down L, and press A. Okay. He's kind of laughing there. I don't know why. And he gives you the hero sword. This item is extremely helpful in the game. Of course, all swords are in these Zelda games. I'm going to go ahead and go. Join me for my next walkthrough part. And see you later.